Hello, and thank you for joining me this evening on the Awaken the Greatness Within webinar. I'm very appreciative that you're here, and hopefully you found this through my blog and had an opportunity to read my blog in advance. But if you didn't, you can certainly check that out at my website uh, that we'll be displaying at the end of this webinar presentation. What we're going to learn about today is all about awakening, awakening the, the giant with inside of you, the great potential that's there. And in this webinar, what we're going to go through is talking through some emotional signs that maybe some awakening is needed in your life. We're also going to talk through what exactly does awaken mean? How do emotions impact your health and well-being? And also taking a look at uh, Awaken Essential Oil and how that can assist you in this process. And with, let's just get started to uh, awaken the greatness within you. So here's some signs that may be an indication that an awakened oil might be helpful for you. I know that I'm often fascinated with the lack of awareness that I see in people that I encounter daily. And you know, you could blame it on their cell phone or other technology distractions or traffic or whatever it is that's on your mind. Something, something's probably distracting the world, but the reality is what concerns me about this is that people can walk down the middle of a parking lot aisle and have absolutely no awareness what is going on around them, like the car coming at them. And that kind of thing just fascinates me because in the, in the practitioner world that I'm in, my thoughts are like this. If, if you have this much trouble recognizing something in your view, like a car, what are you missing in your own body awareness? What is your body trying to tell you? What is your ultimate guide inside trying to get you to grow into or to become to help you fulfill who you were meant to be? So here are some signs that maybe you could use some awakening in your life. And if any of these describe you or somebody you know, then make a special note of those, especially for the rest of the presentation. And be sure to pass this webinar link on to anyone that you think would benefit from it because I am definitely on a mission to help wake people up to the greatness inside them. So are any of these emotions causing you or someone you know to miss out on life? Maybe out on their dreams, their goals, their achievements? Now these emotions are sometimes normal, but when they become part of every day, you really need to ask why. Why is this happening? What's this block in my way of, of awakening the greatness inside me? So again, as we go through this presentation or this webinar, make a note of some of these feelings that you might be feeling about yourself or someone that you know. Because these feelings are real. And they may be hard to address on your own. And you need to know that's okay. But not choosing to get help to deal with them can lead to really major imbalances in your world. So you may not know how to deal with some of these things that you're feeling or some of these things that may be blocks that are holding you back. And that's okay. That's what this webinar is about. It's about to give you a tool. And I want you to understand that tool in great detail. So you understand how this can help you overcome some things that you may be feeling which could eventually lead to major imbalances in your life by not actually fulfilling your true purpose. So let's start off by asking ourselves, what exactly does awaken mean? Okay, it could be something simple like waking someone up from sleeping. Sure, that's an easy one. But I'd like to focus on this one in bold print. Make someone aware of something for the first time. And before we move on to that, let me share some awakened thoughts with you. I think these are really good guiding principles to think about. 1 Corinthians 16.13, keep alert. It doesn't say go to sleep. <laughs> it says keep alert. Stand firm in your faith. 
be courageous, be strong. I like this other one from a novelist back in the 1930s and 40s. I am wide awake to my good. I never miss a trick. Being wide awake to your good, that's an amazing affirmation. Think about that. What could you be missing that's right there in front of you, waiting your recognition of it? Or how about this other quote? Without change, something sleeps inside us and seldom awakens. The sleeper must awaken. Or your vision will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks inside dreams? Who who looks outside dreams? Who looks inside awakes? Now before we move into just exactly how can how can you have something so great as awakening in a bottle? Let's talk a little bit about harmony and disharmony in the body because that's really, really important. So you need to know that disease can be rooted in a lot of main emotions. And when, and when you've got yourself in a bad space, dealing with some of those emotions we mentioned on the slide before, could be fear, it could be anger, sadness, grief, worry. These are all main emotions and they all have emotional branch root emotions that go with them, like resentment, bitterness, sadness. And these all lead to pretty major imbalances in your world. And negative emotions or feelings like this cause disharmony. And all disease has an emotional root. That's why it's dis-ease. It's disharmony. Okay? It's not easy, right? When life isn't easy, you need to take a step back and ask yourself, what do I need to do differently? So we're going to talk a little bit about how can you bring harmony to yourselves. There's a lot of great ways to do that. Someone paying you a compliment can do that. Someone giving you flowers or maybe you doing something nice for someone else or being thankful for your blessings. So these are all opportunities to raise your balance in the body from a point of disharmony to harmony. Because positive emotions, positive affirmations, positive steps moving forward are going to help you raise your disharmony to harmony. So here's something you need to know. If you've watched any of my presentations before, you know that your body has energy frequencies. Albert Einstein said, everything has a vibration, and a vibration is a frequency. So when you see an EKG machine on ER, on TV, you see the heart's frequency. And doctors learn to see disharmony in that. That's when they know something's not right with your heart. So they're trained to see that. And you need to know that every cell in your body has a similar balancing frequency just like the heart. The heart's just a whole bunch of cells. Okay? So let's explore disharmony that can be created by some of those very negative emotions that we talked about earlier. So in order to raise your frequency, you can do that through the concept of awakening. And it may not be easy. You may say, well, I've been depressed for years. <laughs> or I've been feeling down or I've been angry for years. How can I suddenly change it? That's what this webinar is about. It's about showing you how to move your frequency from disharmony in a cell and change it to harmony. And you can do that in a number of ways. You can do it with words. We just talked about that. Someone pays you a compliment. You know you feel better when someone pays you a compliment than when someone's putting you down or saying disparaging things about you. Or if someone does something kind for you instead of cutting you off on the freeway, that doesn't make you feel good. This is about awareness. This is what I'm speaking to. Look at the obvious. What makes you feel good and what makes you not feel good? Awareness. Awakening. Supplements. Different smells. The smell of grandma's cookies from childhood. You could have someone make you those cookies 40 years later and still go back to very, very powerful emotions, very powerful, good feelings, warm fuzzies locked in that old sensory nerve, the olfactory sensory nerve, right? So 
there are a whole lot of ways a song on the radio can raise your frequency or lower your frequency. What songs make you feel good? Which songs make you feel like you wished you didn't wake up for the day? These are all really important frequencies and things that you are encountering every single day. It could be a negative person you encounter every day. just sucks the life out of you. Well, go around someone with a little higher frequency than that person, right? But this is how we're going to show you how to kind of move in a direction that can help you overcome some of these obstacles or blocks to achieving your potential. Because all it's about is helping you over that hump. It's about giving you an edge, helping you move your momentum and frequency in a positive direction. So the Awaken Oil, yes, Awaken in a Bottle, it takes a look at your unlimited potential. It helps to actually stimulate the nervous system. It actually helps to support the central nervous system and the brain and the endocrine glands. It does an amazing job of helping you take positive steps in life to go forward. And we're going to dissect this oil and actually help you understand how come it can do that. But for those of you who may not be familiar, you need to know what an essential oil is first. So here's just a, a few bullet points. I've got a very full, very good basic class webinar. You'll see it at the end of this presentation, the web link. You can go watch it where you can learn a lot more detail about essential oils. I am only giving you some basics here just so you're almost on the same page with me as we go through the rest of this presentation. So you need to know how oils work. So they have components in them, aldehydes and esters. Now you may not have ever heard of these, but that's okay. They help the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. So they actually allow the body to relax instead of allowing anxiety to build up. Because anxiety isn't good for the body. It creates acid. All those negative emotions create acid. So these components, the aldehydes and esters, they actually help to activate the transcript enzyme, which transcribes anxiety on the RNA template and stores it in the DNA. Now, I know that's a lot of big words and a whole bunch of letters, and that's actually a topic called epigenetics, and that's a topic for a whole different blog on my website. But let's keep moving forward and focus on these oils and how they actually help you. When you're exposed to an emotionally charged situation, you should diffuse this oil. It will actually help absorb into your bloodstream through the nasal cavity to the limbic system. That's where your emotions are stored. That's all those things we talked about a few slides back. And it will help to activate the amygdala. Now you may have never have heard of the amygdala, and that's okay. It's a little thing about the size of an almond. There's one on each side. Bottom line is that's where fear, rage, trauma are stored. So if any of those kind of things led to your emotional feelings of anger or fear, or anxiety, or your worry, this is how we can get to them. Crossing the blood-brain barrier. So these oils actually help to sedate the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. So now let's try to learn a little bit more about the Awaken oil in general. Now I need you to be very clear as we go through this presentation. I wanted you to make a special note of whatever things, blocks we mentioned a few slides back that might be holding you back in life, holding you from finding or achieving your highest potential, hold, keeping you from moving forward and making great strides and awakening the greatness within you, that limitless potential. So remember to jot some of those down and watch how you see how these oils are going to help give you that little bit of lift over some of these emotions and move you on the right track on the positive frequency and lift you further towards your goals. So keep this in mind. There are actually five different blend oils that create the Awaken oil. 
So I didn't count them all, but I'm going to tell you right now, in this first blend called Joy, you can see here a whole host of oils that are used to create that blend. As we go into all five of these different blend oils, and you'll learn what a blend is in my other presentation on essential oils that I mentioned earlier, you'll get to see that there are probably more than 30 oils in this one little bottle. So it packs a wallop. So this particular oil, the first one, called Joy, this is what I want you to focus on. Sure, you can read what it does up there in the description here on the slide, but there's the important thing. I want you to understand the emotions that it impacts. It helps to work on feelings of judgment, disappointment, feeling anxious, people who maybe have been feeling grief or loss in their life. This oil can assist in supporting you in that respect. So as you think about that, think about as you're wanting to reach your limitless potential, have you ever been judged for trying to reach your dreams? Have you ever felt disappointed because you didn't or someone discouraged you? How might this oil help you overcome that and awaken the greatness within? The next blend oil is called forgiveness. Now look at all the oils that create the blend of forgiveness. There's a whole bunch of them. So sure, this one can help release negative memories. And you know, you can look back at some of my other webinars and you can learn more about the forgiveness oil on my other webinars and learn about each of these components because it is an amazing study to see the different aspects that each of these oils brings to the table. So while forgiveness is very, very important, think about how does this matter to you in your awakened journey? Well, this one actually works on the emotions like feeling betrayed, not trusting others, feeling like you want to get revenge on someone, or maybe you're in denial that, that you were hurt. Think about that on your journey to greatness. What stopped you? Did someone betray you? Did someone make it so you didn't feel like you could trust them anymore? Do you want to get revenge on them? <laughs> These are all things that this particular oil inside the Awaken Blend is there to help assist and give you that boost over the top. The next oil in the blend of five is called Present Time. Another nice list of oils that create this blend. This one has an amazing, empowering fragrance to help you be in the moment. And let me tell you why that's important. You're either going forward or you're going backwards. <laughs> okay? You cannot make forward progress if you're in the past. If you're back in the past, thinking about how you didn't make successful decisions or how someone said you'd never amount to anything or how you didn't achieve a goal that you set and now you've never forgotten it. That's only holding you back. Don't live in the past. That's not going to get you anywhere but in the past. Life's too short. You need to move forward. This particular oil, present time, helps to work with feelings of loss or dealing with repressed or stuffed emotions. How about disillusionment? Any of you out there work towards a goal, try to achieve something great? Maybe it didn't work out? Hey, look at people like Colonel Sanders. Look how long it took him to get this you know, KFC out in the world. So this oil also happens to help with resistance to change. Maybe you're so stuck, you're so asleep, you're so comfortable being asleep, you couldn't possibly think about changing. That might mean you'd have to get out of bed, get out of your comfort zone, and go do something. So 
Think about how this oil inside the Awaken blend can help you find your greatness. The next oil is called Dreamcatcher, another beautiful group of oils that create this blend. And the important thing to recognize is this is about helping you being open to what are your dreams. If time and money weren't a problem, what would you do tomorrow? This helps you to actually help you stay on your path. It works on the emotions of helping you manifest, right? Helping you overcome rejection. Helping you have a healthy competitiveness. It's not, it's not unhealthy to be competitive. It's unhealthy to be an imbalanced or out of balanced or uh, competitive nature. But being competitive gives you accountability partners, gives you people to look up to, people to, to try to be great with. That's what athletes do. How could this set of emotions help you move in a direction to help you achieve some of your goals, some of your dreams, some of the things that you've always wanted to do, but because of some of those negative emotions we talked about earlier, you're not able to take a leap over that hump into positive thinking. And this oil, Harmony, this one is fabulous in that it has emotional healing and physical healing properties that go with it. There's a tremendous amount of oils that are in this one that help to create it. And it's very important to look at the emotions behind this one. This one deals with the feeling of being ignored. How many people, how many people have gone through life? Maybe they're in sales. Maybe they're trying to sell an idea. Maybe they're trying to have such a passion that they want to share and they don't know how to articulate it. People, it's like they're not even heard. This helps to overcome those kind of feelings or feelings of being crushed with disappointment. Feelings of fear of failure. Maybe you beat yourself up. Maybe you've been subjected to sarcasm after sarcasm. Those are all opportunities for this oil called Harmony to help bring you to a more positive state of balance, to help negate some of those emotions that we talked about in the beginning of this presentation. So now that you've learned all about these incredible oils, you've probably realized that there's a whole lot to awaken inside you and that there's a whole lot that the Awaken Oil can help you with. So one of the things I'd like you to think about is how you can generally apply this oil. Now, you can diffuse it, and that's with a small diffuser is what we call them, and you mix it with water, and a fine mist goes in the air. And that's how we get this across the blood-brain barrier, by the way. That's how it hits the limbic system. That's how it gets to the emotions. You can also directly inhale it, like cupping your, the oil in your hand around your nose, add it to bath water. And so there's a few opportunities here and lots of different ways that you can use this oil. Gosh, you could put it in, the, in your clothes in the dryer and smell awaken all day long. How amazing would that be? Now, I'm going to show you something really important, and this is these special points to consider. Make a special note of these. And on the next slide, what you're going to see is some very special points on the ear. And we call that auricular therapy. And what you do is you actually get one of those tiny makeup Q-tips. They're really tiny and pointy. And what you do is you actually almost like an acupuncture needle, but you don't need a needle and you actually go near these points on the ear and massage it with the tip of that Q-tip with oil on it, this Awaken oil. <clears throat> now, you may not need all three spots. You only may need one. And usually you'll know which one you need because it's the sore one. And you'll be fascinated. You'll think, I never knew my ear was sore here. And suddenly, 
put that little point on there and you'll go, ow, I didn't know my pituitary point hurt. I didn't even know I had a pituitary point. Okay, so the point is, no pun intended, that that's how you find the spot. This is a general application. And so it's a very positive way to help you direct the oil to a very specific part of the body. Now, let's apply it to your world. What I just shared with you is, you know, general application, general things to think about. But what's important is for you to get quiet, become aware of your body and emotions. Now, I've been talking about that this whole webinar, and I'm going to give you some ideas on the next slide of what does that look like? What does it mean to get in tune with my body? But before we go there, I need you to ask these questions. What goals and dreams do I need to awaken inside me? What's my purpose? Why am I here? Did I fulfill it? Or am I falling short right now? Is there a part of my life that feels disconnected? Is there a body part that I need to focus on? Was it those parts that were on the ear that I just saw on this webinar? Well, you're supposed to be listening to your body. Is there a body part that hurts? Maybe that's the part that's trying to be awakened inside of you right now, trying to get your attention. So consider which one might align with you. Is it a body part that's giving you trouble, or is it one of the ones we mentioned on that previous slide? And I want you to be prepared to use an affirmation when you use this oil because we want to engage the senses. We want to engage the body at all levels so we can hit this at a level of cellular change. So I want you to say this affirmation on this particular awaken oil. I am wide awake to my good. I never miss a trick. I am wide awake to my good. I never miss a trick. I encourage you, with or without the oil, you start that tomorrow. You, if your oil has to be ordered, go ahead and order it. But in the meantime, I am wide awake to my good. I never miss a trick. And start to see what the world starts to show you is available for you just waiting your recognition. So awaken your awareness and notice. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take a drop of the awaken oil and put it on the body part or the ear chart, whatever your body spoke to you about. I want you to <clears throat> put that oil on that body part or on that auricular therapy point on the ear and apply it multiple times a day for days or week. And then what I want you to do is look for a change in your physical body, the physical body part, or your emotional well-being. Now, if you're like me, one of the things I found is I may have been working on X, but I may have found that Y started to get better. That doesn't mean it didn't work. It means it started to work in other areas as well. And it may just take a little longer for X to get better, for X to feel better, for X to move forward. Now maybe X is a person. Maybe you have to start, before you can awaken your limitless potential, maybe you've got to get over a few hurts. Maybe you've got to get over a few people that have tried to tell you you couldn't be anything. You can't amount to anything. Well, maybe you're going to start to notice as you use this oil the way I'm instructing you, you may start to notice, I don't feel bad about that person anymore. In fact, they don't really bother me at all. That's the kind of thing I need you to notice how you're feeling emotionally and physically, looking at your well-being toward yourself, toward other people, toward your goals and dreams. Maybe a couple weeks into this you go, I think I can achieve that goal now. You might not have thought that two weeks ago, four weeks ago. Here's some other changes. Now, if you want to really get in touch with awareness, because this is, this is what my blog was about. When I work with clients in my practice, it is very difficult 
very difficult for me to help them when they are so out of touch with their body. When I have to say to them, did you have any change since the last visit? Nope, didn't notice a thing. Really? And I actually have to keep notes in their session, every session, so I can remind them of what they came in complaining about, whether it was physical, emotional, or spiritual, and then I have to remind them, this is why you came to see me. And now these things are not at the same level you thought they were. In fact, this thing disappeared altogether, and you missed it. Because what is it saying? Out of sight, out of mind? (laughs) They didn't even feel it anymore. So this may sound strange, but this is the kind of stuff I want you to look for. And why I'm telling you this is this is in my blog. This was my journey. I'm actually an incredibly observant person. But I just needed a little bit of help knowing what was I to observe. So let me give you some ideas. And what does change look like? It could look like a change in your appetite. Maybe you have a new voracious appetite for food and life after this after you start working with this oil. Maybe you have a change in bowel habits. Maybe you have a change in sleep patterns, a change in mood, a change in relationship with yourself or others, a change in any body part. Maybe you're more flexible. Maybe changes in your breathing patterns. Maybe you breathe deeper. Changes in energy level. What kind of foods are you craving? Do you have a decrease in gas and bloating? Are you experiencing more headaches or less? What smells do you want to smell? Or what smells do you want to avoid right now? Is your stomach gurgling more than normal? Who did you blow up at this week? Who are you more patient with than you used to be? Who are you more angry at? Who at your work quit? For a new opportunity. Now I gave you a whole host of possibilities of things to look for because all of those things could be changed in one way or another just because you start raising your frequency and start raising your awareness and awakening the greatness inside you. Losing some of those dull, sleepy, unawakened kind of emotions, the things that don't get you up in the morning. There's so many things I mentioned, and I know some of you are thinking, well, I don't think it's a good thing if I get more headaches through this process. It could be. See, in the world I come from, every change is a good change. It means there's movement. And sometimes you got to get a little momentum going and push through some things and So whether you think it's, maybe it's not very helpful that you blew up with somebody. Well, maybe it is. Maybe they've bullied you for years. And one day you suddenly stood up for yourself. That's not a bad thing. Now, if it continues, we'll need to look at that a little closer. But my point is, these are the kinds of things. And the more you become aware of how your body God and the universe is trying to communicate with you, the sooner you are going to be on the road to recovery and no longer floundering, wandering aimlessly without any attention to your path or where you're headed. Now, I'll leave you with this thought. Everything I shared with you was how to self-help your way through this process. Some of you who work with me in my practice know that we customize your experience all the time. It's whatever experience we need to work through, it is customized and very unique to you. No session is ever the same. That's why I absolutely love what I do. Tremendous variety. So if you would like to customize your awakened experience, meaning make it very unique to you, let me tell you what that would look like. First, you want to order your awakened oil. And you would do that by contacting the person that invited you to this webinar. Now, if you don't know how you got to this webinar, you don't remember anybody inviting you, you are welcome to go to my website listed here, lynnmoralesnd.com, 
search on the word Awaken, and there will be some information there on how you can order the Awaken oil. But let me tell you more about what does a customized consult look like. I would work with you specifically, which by the way, we can do this by phone, so if you're not in the town I live in, that's okay. I would work with you on identification of the topic of interest, goals, or dreams that you're trying to achieve. What are you trying to break through? What are you trying to awaken? I'll work with you on the exact location that you need to put the awaken oil. It may not be on the general application list I showed you earlier on that ear chart. You may have a very specific thing. You may have a right foot that hurts all the time. And that may be the very place on your body we need to use that oil. But that's part of the customization experience. I'll then recommend to you the amount and dilution ratio. We'll bring in the sensory identification. Is there a certain sense? one of the five senses that's just not working for you, that's shut down for whatever reason. We'll bring that into the experience. And then what we'll do is we'll create a personal affirmation just for you. So maybe it isn't the one that I mentioned earlier. I am awake to my good. I never miss a trick. Yours might need to be a little bit different. Your body may say, I don't want to have a trick. People have tricked me all my life. I don't want to be tricked. <laughs> okay. That's okay. We'll customize the experience because we want to do what resonates with you, what raises your frequency. So I want to thank you for participating in this webinar. It's been an absolute pleasure sharing this information with you. For more information on the Emotions and Feelings series that I'm working on, you can go to my website. Or, as I mentioned earlier, if you need a little stronger education on essential oils, you should probably go to the webinar listed here, eo101webinar.com, where you can actually watch uh, an Introduction to Essential Oils class. Thank you very much for attending, and have a wonderful rest of the week.